Wait is what Valentine Day disasters have you witnessed? I blew my car's tire and my friend came in to bail me out. Were both straight dudes and forgot it was Valentine's. Decided to have dinner and both were coming from important meetings so had suits on. We didn't catch on until the end on how the entire wait staff thought we were just the cutest gay couple. I served at a Japanese hibachi restaurant and once had a couple come and the dude dumps her after the meal. She then gets up and throws up a trail probably a good 20 feet as she runs to the bathroom. The dude got up and left the girl and I was left to clean the mess. There was a note in our reservations that it was an engagement. They wanted champagne, a specific seat, bunch of other stuff. The server comes up to the table with something like. So I read we are celebrating an engagement. Congratulations. Confusion from the woman, glaring from the guy. He hadn't proposed yet. She ruined it. When I proposed to my fiancé I kept it a very small circle of people knowing so nothing could get spoiled. My grandfather didn't know till the day of because he has dementia. Her best friend is still mad I never told her, but she had ruined a birthday surprise months prior and I couldn't trust her after that. These two were on a date and the guy went to go use the bathroom. The girl just up and leaves after he went to the restroom. When the guy came back he sat around for a while until asking his waitress where she went. She replied with saying that she left. The guy then asked the waitress if she would go on a date with him. The waitress said no. 042 in one night. Damn. They came in at lunch the day after. So it was pretty empty, but it was still for a Valentine's Day date. They were both pretty nice at the beginning. The guy asked for a picture and whatnot. As the meal went on, the dude got progressively drunker, and by the time I brought the check out, the woman was gone. When the dude gave me his card, he said I'll give you a bit of advice. If you're taking a girl out to break up with her, do it at a McDonald's and not an expensive restaurant. Not a waiter. But in my strip club bouncer days we had one of our regulars get sweeted up and bring flowers in one v-day to try and woo one of the dancers. It did not work. Pro tip, if every time you'll hang out it involves you giving her money, she is not into you. I cannot imagine how depressing a strip club on Valentine's Day is. He proposed. She said no. He cried and tried to change her mind for 20 minutes while she sat there stony faced. She finally got up and walked out. He paid and left in tears. Why are there so many people proposing to people they've not discussed marriage with before? It blows my mind. Not wait stuff, but I used to work front desk at a hotel. One Valentine's Day I was working the night shift. And this woman comes down with a cut above her eye looking like she just went a few rounds in the ring with a boxer. Woman starts sobbing and asks us to call the coups which we do immediately. Turns out this girl's boyfriend just beat the s out of her during a fight. And from what I could tell this probably wasn't the first time. So after the cops show up and haul the dude off, my manager offers her a different room on camp as we need to leave the guy's stuff where it is for him to pick up the next day. She accepts. And I go up with the woman to help her collect her stuff and move to the new room. There were a bunch of bottles of alcohol in the room. And she donated them to the front desk staff. I got a bottle of hypnotic and some vodka. Manager got a bottle of patron. Cherry on top of everything. The dude's wife called later that night saying someone had stolen his card as he was out of town on a business trip. Never want to defend an abuser. I told her where she could find her husband. Fun times. I had a section 1v day that had a marriage proposal, a 40th anniversary, and a breakup all at the same time. The breakup was the worst. The guy brought his high class date a gift, a mini ceramic bear holding balloons. He presented it when I was at the table and she looked at it like it was a hot turd. I just knew this was not going to end well. She left at the end of the meal and must have said something because he stayed at the table for another 40 minutes. Head down and crying. I felt bad. He saw the celebrations going on at the other tables. Not a waiter, but I was a pastry chef at this big resort in Cape Cod. We got a special order from this guy, who was coming in for his anniversary, Valentine's Day. He wanted his desert to have, will you marry me, written on it, so he could pop the question, when it came out. 
he called ahead to the front and back kitchen. Even came in himself that morning to make sure it was good to go. The whole crew was behind him. We had cooks all night coming in the ask if it had happened yet. I wrote the inscription on the plate and dressed it to the nines with gold leaf and expensive chocolate. I'm taking a picture of the plate just before it's set to go out and notice our head waiter come in with a weird look on his face. He says plainly they don't need it broke up with him before the entrees hit the table. Ruthless. A guy did a backflip and asked a girl to be his valentine. She declined. I walked up to him and asked if he was fine. He said it took him a week to perfect. I feel for this guy man hope he found someone. May he find a girl who does a front flip for him. I was eating in a fine dining establishment, Chili's, several years ago. In the next booth was a really young guy who had a big bunch of roses on the seat next to him. He kept looking at his watch, looking at the roses, and popping open a ring box for a peek at the ring. He did this for a half hour or so, then began calling and texting someone, presumably his girlfriend, over and over. As we were waiting for our check, he hands my wife the roses, mumbled something, and walked out. Poor guy. Edit, I don't consider chill as a fine dining experience. My wife and I had done some shopping and stopped off for a burger and beer afterwards. Had a couple sign divorce papers and cry a bunch. This was relayed to me by a close friend older woman. Probably in her upper 90s with her teenage grandson at a semi-classy restaurant. She was dressed to the nines and the grandson was in a nice button-up and dress slacks. As they got seated at their table the grandson placed a framed photo of what my friend assumed was the boy's grandfather and husband of the older women. Found out it would have been their 70th wedding anniversary, but he had passed suddenly but peacefully a few months back. The grandfather had always wanted to take her to a nice restaurant, but never had the time or money to do it. So the grandson saved up his pay from the last couple of months and even got some donations from other relatives and took her to the restaurant. They ate dinner remembering all the good times with the man. They had my friend to take a picture and she did. They tipped my friend very well. By her penstance my friend ran into the young man some weeks later to find out the grandmother passed away a few days after that night. Peacefully in her sleep holding a photo of her beloved husband. He was so happy he could make that night special to her. Said it was the only day he saw her smile since his grandfather passed away. He got the picture they took at the restaurant printed in wallet sized and carried it around with him in his wallet. Edit. Fixed some spelling and added more details. After speaking with my friend again. I'm not a great writer so this might diminish the story. I tried though. Thank you for the award. And I posted this to bring something a little different to the thread other than cheating spouses. It's sad because the lady lost her soulmate of 70 something years. Before Valentine's Day which also would have been their wedding anniversary. Parenting goal, do my best to raise my son, to be like this guy. What a phenomenal human being. A guy proposed to his girlfriend, and she said no. The guy threw his arms up, and ran out of the building. Later, while waiting for someone to pick her up, she told us it was completely out of the blue, because they'd only been dating for a few months. Another V-Day. A guy raised a huge fuss over the fact that we wouldn't serve liquor to his underage girlfriend. I was a delivery driver for a fruit bouquet company and I had two arrangements from the same guy. Routes were made for me and the truck was loaded so there was no way I could mess this up. Delivered both arrangements to the appropriate address. I headed back to the store to find the store owner and the guy who sent these in an argument. This idiot put the wrong name to the houses. And it was on the card with the arrangement, along with the phone numbers. So both women called each other, and then called the guy. He tried to say it was my fault. Then the person who took the order, he ordered it online. All we did was import the order. I hate Valentine's Day because of that place, but man was that great.